Welcome back. Markets at the low point of the day, but it's a good time to find out what's going on in D Street Chatter. Nimesh can give us further insight about today's fall. Nimesh, tell us what are you picking up? Hi, Rajiv. It's largely uh, the fall is led by the large cap names, and, and, and again, you know, looks like there's a bit of uh, geopolitical risk, which is a big concern there. A bit of nervousness out of the uh, SEBI board meet as well, and that's been largely discussed as well across all the daily rooms. So maybe th these are the few factors which which has led it to a sharper fall in the broader markets, in the in the large cap names today. Even in terms of flows, I understand there is selling pressure in select large cap names, which includes the large private banks, Reliance. There is selling pressure clearly from the larger FIs today. So. Uh, that, that, that's the reason why uh, you know you're seeing a big, big, uh, big fall in the Nifty. But if you look at the breadth, that's not very weak. You know there, there is outperformance in, in select pockets. The, the, like for example, metals have done really well. Uh, sir, uh, out of the blue, cement stocks have done well today, and so are the, some of the mid caps as well. So it's not it's not like there is across the board selling. It's, the selling is largely in the large cap names today. That's the overall feedback. Uh, the other sector which has been relatively underperforming is the auto names. Across the board, autos have relatively underperformed, uh, largely on profit booking because they've done very well. And now there are reports which are indicating that maybe there is uh, the discounting is going up. There is a lot of inventory as well uh, in the system. So the monthly data on, on autos will be very interesting to track uh, in the next couple of days. But I guess uh, today's uh, big, big sell-off seems to be largely restricted to a few large cap names, including the large private bank, the private bank stocks. Got it. All right, Nimesh, what about individual stocks? What are you picking up? Well, so the first stock on my list is RBL Bank. There was a large block. 75 lakh shares got changed hands in the afternoon trade. I understand the FI was a seller in today's block, so disclosures could be quite interesting in RBL Bank. So that's the first name. The second stock is Gale. Within the PSUs, Gale stands out. It's been outperforming as well off late. I've been saying for, for a while now that select PSUs is saying buying interest, and Gale stands out on back of very strong uh, buy flows today. So that's, that's the reason for Gale to outperform. And the third name is Warren Beverages. There was an initiating report as well from a, from a, from an FI brokerage, but there is a very large selling pressure uh, in in Warren Beverages at an FI. So it looks like at this level some bit of churn is happening uh, within the larger portfolios, and and Varun stands out in terms of sell pressure uh, from from a leading FI. So that's the reason why it's part of my charter list. Okay.